Hello. Axiom number two. I'm doing some axioms and art, things I say over and over again as I'm teaching, and I thought I would put them in some videos. So axiom number two, this is it. Be an original because we can become good, technically good, by following the crowd. But to become great, one must be an original. And this is one of those axioms that has uh, far more application than just art. Uh, being an original, something you might hear, something we hear often, but yet I just wanted to explore this a little bit uh, because it's so fundamental to creating good art and great uh, things in life too. So um, being an original, you know, often people will say uh, something to me like, well, I'm, I'm not creative. Yes, you are. You are creative. You know why? You are made in the image of the great creator. You're made in God's image, meaning that you indeed are creative. Sometimes when people say, I'm not creative, what they really mean is I don't draw or I don't paint. And that's fine. We all have our own gifts, thankfully, right? But every time you are problem solving, you are being creative. And don't we need problem solvers in the world today? Yes, we do. So be an original. Um, copying something, I'm going to speak uh, in artistic terms, uh, a learning tool uh, is to copy um, great works of the masters, sometimes in a museum or another place. That is a great learning tool. We learned a tremendous amount by copying someone else's work or sometimes in, in another aspect, having a mentor and uh, following in their footsteps and, and trying to learn uh, what they did that was great for a season. It is really good artistically and otherwise to learn from a mentor or learn by copying great work. That's, that's a great place in the journey. But at some point we move on beyond that and we develop our own style, our own unique vision our own way at looking at things because each one of us is completely an original, uh, a masterpiece. God is crazy about you. Uh, he made everything about you. The way we look, um, the, uh, our personalities, the um, circumstances that were allowed uh, as we developed uh, our education or uh, experiences, all those things that go into making each person every person a complete original. I have two brothers that are identical twins and they really look alike, but they too are each unique uh, people. And so, yeah, an original. Um, this is so important in art. It is easy to coast um, maybe too long by just doing work like, that other people do or, gee, this will sell maybe. Um, but if we want to stretch the boundaries of our, our learning and what we're capable of, and uh, yeah, in so many areas, originality. And originality is harder because our, our first attempts often don't look that great. They're awkward. Um, we don't quite have the concept together. It is more work to be original, but it goes on so much further. Think of the people, not only um, in art, but think of, of the original um, uh, creative things that has blessed your life. Maybe it's music, maybe it's drama, maybe it's dancing, maybe it's speaking, public speaking. Um, many, many ways in which creativity abounds. And, and those things that really touch our heart are often um, very, very original, very unique. Now, I'm not talking about being a weirdo just to be different. No, but be original. Be you. You are uh, a treasure. So, yeah, be an original. We will only be technically good by copying other people's work for a season. We can only reach a level of good. If something is going to be truly great, be an original. Do it your way. Um, find that way. Uh, it's worth it. It is worth it. We need so many problems solved in the world today. If you're being creative, you're being a problem solver, 
do it in a unique way, uh, a way that God made you to be. So a couple words from my favorite book. Um, this is from the book of Romans uh, in a paraphrase. So here's what I want you to do. God helping you take your everyday, ordinary life, your sleeping, eating, going to work, and walking around life, and place it before God as an offering. Embracing what God does for you is the best thing you can do for him. Don't become so well-adjusted to your culture that you fit into it without even thinking. Instead, fix your attention on God. You'll be changed from the inside out. Some translations say transformed. So be an original, have fun doing it. It's an exciting journey. Axiom number two. Thank you. And I would like to hear what you have to say about being an original. So please, please put your um, thoughts in the comments below. Thank you so much. Goodbye.